Baby, that song turned me right on now. I love a good song. Oh, wait, it, do y'all know what that sound means? You don't know, let me tell you. That's time for Knock Star. Yes, it is. surprising viewers right at their doors to give them a chance to win a cash prize. Helping us with our surprise today is our very own correspondent, Miss Keaton. Hey, nice Jennifer. Nice to see you, girl. I love that little pink, purple you got on. I feel Thank like that's you. for me. Tell me who we surprising, Keaton. So today we're surprising Yvonne Felder, mm -hmm. who works full time as a rideshare driver, and she brings joy to every single one of her dri riders. Come, come. Okay. I can't wait to get to it. Now you go knock on it though, real good for me. We gonna turn knock, right on up, knock, ain't we, y'all? We gonna turn up. Shh. Here we go. Bang on it, doggy. No, get it. Oh, that's cute. Well, Yvonne. <laughs> Yvonne. Hi, Yvonne. It's so Jennifer Hudson. Yvonne, say, who is that, my doe? Oh. Yvonne, it's me, Jennifer! Don't oh. Come on! Oh. 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 I'm sitting up here looking at reruns. Do you hear me? Hi, Jennifer! Well, now you're here with us. Hey, Yvonne! She done brought the happy place to my house. Yes, I did. You done brought the happy place. Happy, uh, happy place. You better sing. You done brought the happy to my house. You done, you and Jesus that brought the happy place to my house, Jennifer. I love. I love I just wrote you. I just wrote you. My sister came here from Texas. Uh huh. The first week of September, she wanted to come to your show so bad. I tried to get. Can I get a forever pass? You know what? <laughs> Show. Yvonne, we Lord gotta get you the Jesus. forever pass. Can't nobody tell me nothing. Well, well you know. <laughs> no, because Jennifer loves her viewers so much, she might want to give you a little something, but you gotta compete a challenge first. You ready? What's the challenge? You, you, this, I know you can handle it because I, I feel the energy. But who is that behind you now? Who is that? Who else yeah, in the house? You come over here. Get over here. Come what y'all doing up in there? Get over here. This is my daughter. Your, oh my God. That's your daughter? Hey, daughter, we mean to daughter. put you on the side. She's hiding from me. My sister is going to fall out and faint. Well, y'all got to come to I would out love to meet faint. you, your sister, your daughter, and whoever else you got up in that I'm house. I'm at you now. You are? Okay, but see, now oh, you're going to be a Lord. part. So yes. next time you look, you're going to see yourself, okay? You ready for the challenge? We got a challenge yes, for you. Yes, yes. But you yeah, first, got this I gotta challenge. Know, go. What's the challenge? But first, I got to know, when you, you know, you're in your ride share, what type of music do you play? Because that's something real important to me. What kind of music I'm listening to during my car ride? Okay, okay. Gospel. I'm there, That's there for that. When you get in my car, you go in the church. <laughs> That's right. Yes, evangelist. You're back. Okay, okay. All right. Yes. Now, this may not be gospel. I want to see if you can complete this challenge. Now, if you win, you're going to get a cash prize okay. of $250. So, you ready? <laughs> I think she, you better twirl that. around and I get your that. shot off. What's the challenge? Okay, let's see how strong you, you know music trivia. For $250, tell me who sang the R&B song, Superstition. Come on now. Stevie Wonder. You better know it. You better know it. Where my, where my reach is at? Listen, that's why you just won $250, and I want you to run and shout. Thank you for being our not star of the day. Oh my God, I'm so glad we got to play with you today. And I hope to see you and your Let sister. Me say hi. What you want to say, Chai? Look. Yes, ma'am. Look. Let me say hi to little David. Juju. You better know. Yaya. McCavity. Uh <laughs> Juju. McCavity. And Charles if he Charles if he on that piano. Charles? What about Walter? Walter. Don't leave out Walter. McCavity. Walter, you want to say hi to Walter? Oh, hey, Walter. Walter. Hey, Walter. <laughs> you gotta watch a few more. Walter. That's your best friend, ain't it? Yes. He here right now. All of them. I'm going to let them know you said hey, hi. Walter. All right. You do well with your $250 okay. donation, okay? And we're going to catch you on the next one. I will. Congratulations. And I hope to meet you and all your family so I can call them by name. But until then, y'all, we're going to be right back. Our next.
next guest has over 2 million social media followers. Oh, and did I mention she's only seven years old? From Miami, Florida, please welcome dancer baby Salome. Come on out. So precious. <laughs> it is so nice to meet you, and your outfit is lovely. <laughs> Salome, can you tell me how long you've been dancing? Five years. Five years? So, and you're seven years old? Yeah. How did you learn how to dance? One day, my mom and dad put E music. Mm -hmm. I was a baby. <laughs> And I stand up and start moving my hips. Oh, right. <laughs> Dancing. And you knew that early, that's what you wanted to do? You yeah. fell in love with dancing. Yeah. Where is your family from? My family is from Venezuela. <laughs> like, you're really famous at seven years old. Yes. Do you like when people like notice you and ask you for pictures and stuff? Yes, so much. You get excited about it. You yes. do. Do you have a special pose for that when you take pictures with people? Oh! You are a superstar. Thank you. What kind of, what's your favorite type of dance? What kind of dance do you My do? My favorite type of dance, I have three. Three? Yeah. I have salsa. Oh. <laughs> Ballroom. Mm. And hip hop. And hip-hop? Oh, see, I don't know about none of them dances. Can you, can you teach me, like, one of those dance moves? Yeah. Okay. Should I stand up? Yeah. All right, I'm getting up. What I gotta do? Like this? Hey! Hey! Do I got it? Yeah. Oh! 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 Come here. Come here. You see this? Oh, my God! Oh, oh this is getting a little bit did I do okay? Yeah. I did? Yeah. Now, I heard you got a, a, a you recently had a birthday? Yeah. And your birthday was the day after my birthday. Yeah. Ah. And I saw that you like sparkly things, like sparkly jackets. Yeah. So you know I had to get my Virgo friend a, a yeah. gift, right? Okay, we got to bring out this lovely gift for you. This is, do you like it? It on right now, y'all. I am not mad. Oh, but you want I can hold that for you. You need a little help. Hold, there you go. You got it. You got it. Look at her. Can I get a face with that? What kind of pose and expression? Bam. Yeah. You can be holding that. Yes, honey. Yes. Oh my God, that was so amazing. All right, we'll be right back. Our first guest is a comedian, actress, and now a judge on the new show, Miss Pat Settles It. Give it up for the hilarious Miss Pat! First of all, welcome back. Thank you. Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> Ooh, you look so good. That was my daughter who was laughing. Is that your daughter? Oh, I put all my kids to work. Do you? Yeah. Hey, I gotta put mine to work. I'm yeah, you, you gotta bring them on here and let them sweep the floor or something, Jennifer. You sweeping the floor, David. <laughs> You just can't give them your money, honey. You gotta earn it. I'm taking notes. Y'all better take these notes. You <laughs> teaching the day. Oh, yeah. I didn't get nothing for free. I love that. Yeah. I'm keeping that. Well, bring them over my house. I'll teach them how to work. I'm sending them right up over there. Yes, ma'am, I will. Listen, so the last time you were here, you remember you sang for me? Oh, my God, yes. You do? And those haters came out of everywhere. They said, don't you ever sing like that. <laughs> They was hating on you, Miss Pat. He said, don't you ever sing like that next to an EGOT. <laughs> so I said, well, I got another song for you. You got another one for me? Yeah, you ready? Oh, Lord, what you got, Miss Pat? Y'all ready? Yeah! All right. Y'all gonna stand up on this stand one. Stand up for me. Stand up. All right, come on, audience, because they be playing with me with my singing. You, you let them know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them know. You ready? Yes, ma'am. Happy. Happy. Happy day! Happy day! <laughs> You gotta do the hook. Okay. 
Yeah. One more time, ready? Yes, ma'am. Happy, happy, happy day! Miss Pat, Miss Pat. Miss Pat. <laughs> it's happy, happy, happy day! Oh, place. Place. place! What is days? <laughs> you want to talk? No, let me do it again. <laughs> and then we may want to change the key. Bring it down just a little bit. Okay, happy, okay. Happy, happy. Oh, like you in church. <laughs> you should get your way, Miss Pat. Okay. Happy, happy, happy play. Happy, 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 happy play. Yeah, hold on, hold on. You motivate a black child. <laughs> Mama Pat, that was a that, that was beautiful. Give her a hand. Thank you. That was so beautiful, and you look amazing. Thank you. Every, yes, that was wonderful. So look, um, I feel like you're lying, but no, I'm gonna keep going. No, here, here at the Happy Place, we encourage everyone, oh. and it's about the energy. Yeah. It's not about right or wrong notes, yeah. and and you could create it's words it's, either. Or, or words, or words, or words. But I love, I love your singing. It really inspires my heart. It really does. <laughs> <laughs> Looks, your security is so serious. Oh you ready to lock me up? Oh my God! I love when you sing for well, me, though. It, ma it makes me feel good. And ever since I've been on this show the first time, I've been singing Happy Place. Yes, and I love that you sing Happy Place. Oh my God! You've been real busy. Uh, did you ever finish building your house? Uh, How's no. How's that going? Uh, I, I finished, I, mean, I haven't finished my house, but I finished a dog house. Oh, the dog house. So I have three cane corsos and I built them their own house. They got a washer, a dryer, uh, they have Wi-Fi, they have a TV. That doesn't matter <laughs> to me. They have everything. So they moved into their house. They moved into their house? Yes, the 600 dog? square feet. They know how to wash. They well behaved. Uh, no, no, they're not well behaved. Now the dog just ate up my Fendi shoe, my husband uh, Louis Vuitton wallet. But I'm like, these dogs got some expensive taste. They gotta go. Yes, it's happening. I wonder why you built them their own house. Building a house and that's your husband's wallet. That, and look, they even ate up the money that was in it. No. Yes. <laughs> can you still spend ate up money? Yeah, you can spend ate up money. I know how to put it back together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm from the West End of Atlanta, okay. so I make things happen. Okay. Okay, so the money is in still good shape. Yeah, I spent the money, but uh, the dog <laughs> ate the wallet. The wallet was like 1500 bucks. Oh, them dogs got to go. Yeah, well, you can't... Well, my husband is retired, so he needs somebody to listen to him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> building a house in this economy is really expensive, right? Building a house in this economy is really expensive, Jennifer. I tell you, when I was stealing back in the day, you could make your own little lump. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a convicted felon. <laughs> I used to steal, but God changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, really, really, the corrections uh, facility changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> you say stealing is different? What do you mean? Yeah, because they don't serve good food in jail. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, back in the day, you could just, it was easier, to, it was a lot easier to steal, but harder to steal. Now they're just running out the store with all this name brand stuff. And it makes me sad, because I could have ran out the door with some wood, but... <laughs> I like the black people, the white people staring at me like, what? <laughs> this is daytime TV. <laughs> Don't act like you ain't got me and your family. <laughs> We just love you here at the happy place, Ms. Pat. I come here to be happy. I love it. Will you stick around for a little bit? Where am I going? Please don't go nowhere. Miss Pat. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're back with Miss Pat. So you're a judge on your new show, Miss Pat Settles It. How did that come about? Well, I went in to pitch it because I have an overall deal with Viacom and BET. And I was like, hey, I got an idea to put a person to give you a judge show. And they was like, no, we want you to be the judge. And I'm like, I'm a convicted felon. <laughs> <laughs> and so they was like, it's TV, you could be Jesus. I said, how much it pays? <laughs> no, that's right. It's a genius idea. Don't Thank y'all love that idea? Yeah. Oh my God. So we thought since we have you here, we'd have you hear out some cases from the Jennifer Hudson Show's audience. We're calling it Miss Pat Settles It, the Jennifer Hudson Show edition. Okay. Let's you ready for that? <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, plaintiff and defendant, please take the stand. All righty, so wanna tell me why we're here today? We're here today because after 23 years, I am sick of the snoring. It is out of control. Mm. Out of control. I have to wake him up in the middle of the night. Can you turn over? Can you turn over? Like, how long do I have to continue to go through all this snoring? Say no more, you on. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lie, Your Honor. I don't want to hear it. I sleep with though. you. But can we at least get their names and then give them a chance to explain oh. his snoring? He snores. We don't need their names. It's That's a lie, Your Honor. I've been married so 31 years. So you he understand? say his name every night. I'm Craig Brodnack. He does. <laughs> That's a lie. Sir, we don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Your Honor, how am I snoring if I'm sleeping? <laughs> I don't know if I'm snoring. What? But we do, because we're not sleeping. That's a lie. We can't sleep. Mm. OK. Say no more, you won. Thank you. <laughs> That's a lie. Say you know, to your mother. She cares more. Uh, well, I, uh, who's next? Nice Sorry, day. Andre. You lost. Thank Bye. You. <laughs> Bye. The judge said what she said. Jennifer, yes, he's snoring now and he's awake. And he's a, yeah, Yes, ma'am. It's whatever you say in your court. Hello, ladies. How are you? Hi. Hi. Right. What's, what's your name? I'm Janae. What's your name? Renee. Renee. You know, tell us why you're here today. I'm here today because my mom wants my food, mm. even after I have offered to buy her her own. And I get all upset. OK. <laughs> That's a serious issue, because my son And what do you have to say, mother, for eating up all of your daughter's food? I just want to taste it. Taste it? <laughs> How much tasting are you doing? Just a little. Just a taste. So is it, let me ask you this. When she tastes, does she eat it all, or she tastes? She want to taste a few times, if it's good. Is there anything left for you? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> well, I got to say this, being a parent myself, she carried you for nine months. <laughs> so if she want to eat half your sandwich, hey, she kept you. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so next time, just slide the whole plate over and reorder. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Y'all can leave. And get double plates, is what you said. All right. Next plaintiff and defendant, please take the stand. All right. What is your name? My name is Dixie. Dixie? That's it. OK. Dixie, you want to tell us why you're here today? I am here today because my best friend, Cynthia, over here, mm. of 20 years, by I add, never returns a text. Ooh. Like, the whole day will go by, and I'll send her like two or three or four texts, but finally, when she gets home, settled in after she had a bubble bath and chilling in her bed, she'll call me back, what's up, girl? I'm like, chica. Shy <laughs> we... What was that? OK. Did the sign <laughs> fall off? <laughs> Y'all know I've been shot, boy. I was about to run. <laughs> Look, I looked up there and I was like, is the black people moving? <laughs> hey, hey, Miss Pat, I said. <laughs> Jennifer walked away. I did it smoothly, Baby. though. Baby, I was I about to kick smooth. these heels off and go behind Jennifer. <laughs> I crap away. <laughs> we are one noise and we go. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what, what's your side of the story, sweetheart? <laughs> <laughs> well, I am a very busy woman. Mm -hmm. I'm an educator. I'm a mama. Mm -hmm. I'm a businesswoman. So sometimes during the day, I don't have time to answer a text. What does your text message consist of? Mm, you want to have lunch this afternoon? You want to go to a, check out a movie? You want to go to Jennifer Hudson's show? <laughs> <laughs> well, look like I'm like, after that one back. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, oh. finally she got to me after the bubble bath. After a bubble That's bath? Yeah, yes. after the bubble bath. OK, yeah. well, I don't want to talk for hours after that. Are you, yeah. are you missing her because she don't answer your texts? I mean, people are very busy. Well, that's my pet peeve. Well, I prefer somebody to say, don't got time for you. Well, let me <laughs> say this. Let me say this. <laughs> yeah. I understand. You're an educator, right? Yes. And it's sad on her behalf because I don't answer texts because I don't like, I don't know how to spell that good. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and I don't want to Google to make a complete sentence. <laughs> but I can't, you can't use that because you're an educator. Right. And I'm with my students. I don't have my phone with me. Yes. Yeah, so you're going to have to grow up. <laughs> right? <laughs> and why aren't you at work? <laughs> Girl, I'm half retired. <laughs> Oh, She's busy. Maybe you should take a bubble bath. Mama exactly. Pat. Girl, I'm retired. Now that settles it. Just Pat. This is the happy place. This is the happy place. Okay. Right? Thank you for being here, Miss Pat. And you lovely ladies. Miss Pat is currently on tour, so make sure you check her out. And Miss Pat Saddles It premieres this Wednesday at 10 p.m. on BET. And I will be watching. We'll be right back. Our next guests are proof that one act of kindness can change someone's entire life. Take a look. I am Dr. Bernada Nicole Baker, and I am the mother of Bella Sky Baker. I am a community psychologist, psychology professor, former chaplain, and I am just a lover of life and a lover of people. I wrote into the Jennifer Hudson Show to share my story. December 18th, 2015, I leave my hometown of Chicago and relocate to Houston, Texas. In August of 2017, Hurricane Harvey hit and I was doing a lot of volunteer work to support those who were victims of Hurricane Harvey. So I mean, I was on social media, collecting donations. Well, lo and behold, a volunteer from Philadelphia met a father and a daughter. The storm flooded out their car. They're now in a hotel. He said, well, can you put them in contact with somebody? But I wasn't able to get to them until the end of the month. I raised some money on social media, probably only about $700. Gathered the baby some items. I just went over there, dropped off the packages, and was like, oh, she's such a cute little baby. All right, well, blessings to you all. I'm headed to work. And that was supposed to be the end of the story. The father would reach out to me from time to time because I was helping him with resources for work and he didn't have next of kin in the area. And so I would be like, hey, I'll babysit the baby. I, I was a single woman, no children. I had time on my hand. Everybody was like, who is this baby that you are babysitting? And I was like, I'm just babysitting. Like, I'm just helping somebody out. I talked to the dad and he was like, well, you know, would you be your god mom? But I was very clear that she needed something a little bit more stable and I didn't want to be a temporary fix. I met with dad, him and I had a discussion about a possible adoption. And so he was very much open to it, knowing that he could not provide her with what she needed, but she had what she needed as far as a mom was concerned. And I was just like, you know what? I'll just adopt her. Like if she needs a mother, Hurricane Harvey began in August. I finally got to them and met them in person October. She moved into my home in November. Before I knew it, January 6th of 2017, we were filing the paperwork for the adoption. I am in tune with the whispers of life, and so I knew that this baby was hand-delivered to my doorstep. I thought that I was saving her, but somehow, some way, it feels as if she came to save me. Please welcome Dr. Bernada Baker and her daughter, Bella! I'm not crying. Oh, you know what? It's an emotional thing. It, yeah. I understand. Thank you guys for being here. Hello, Jennifer. Nice to meet you, Bella. I love watching your show on YouTube. I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> you watch the show? Yes, I watch the show all the time. I first got introduced to you when I was watching it in the bedroom with my auntie. I was like, I think, I think she's the right person that I should watch because she is an amazing person. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Bella. You're welcome. Oh, my goodness. You took me back with that. How old are you now? A six. You're six years old. Mm -hmm. How did it feel? Because I see the tears in your eyes uh -huh. watching that video. How did that feel? I was like, oh, my. That's our story. Mm -hmm. uh, that is our story. And while, you're, while I'm in the midst of motherhood, I haven't really had a whole lot of time to, you know, 
really process what was happening. Yeah. But it's a, it's a miracle. Um, it, so it just warmed my heart. She said, how did it make you feel? Yeah, what how did, did it make you feel? Um, how did it make me feel? It, because it was heartwarming to me. When I, when I was, when she first babysitted me, I, I kept like staring at her. I was like, hmm. And then, and then, and then she started, and then she like, um, and then she started like getting into me. And I was like, and then when I was a baby, I was like, I think I like this person that year. <laughs> She's wise. Very smart. Did you expect to be a mom like this? Absolutely not. Not in this manner. Um, I was the one who had really been very strategic about mapping out my life plan. Mm -hmm. I did everything I was supposed to do to go to school, to earn my PhD. And I thought I had crossed all the I's and dotted all the T's and I had wrote a plan for my life. Mm. And so for a baby to literally show up on my doorstep, I'm a native of Chicago. That's I was right. in Houston, Texas. Um, and you know, out of all the people in Houston, Texas, for this baby to land on my doorstep, I would have never thought that my it God. would happen. God always got a little bit more in store. Yeah. And I think, I think sometimes um, we expect packages and they're wrapped in a totally different package. And so this is definitely my yes. greatest unexpected blessing. Yes, and a beautiful blessing it is. Oh my God, so how life-changing has it been for the both of you? you know? It's been really good. It's been like the greatest thing I've ever gotten in my life. Oh my goodness. She's so poisoned. <laughs> Just together. You got a gym right here. Like, does it feel like it, it, it's your destiny? Definitely. It definitely is destiny. Um, again, divine destiny. With my experience, I've run my non for profit for the past 17 years. Yes. Um, and so empowering girls and nurturing girls is what I just do inherently. And so mm. it was nothing for me to just, you know, step in and stand proxy and make sure that she had everything that she needed because I had been doing it for so many years. And so I don't God was God was preparing me. I thought it was like I thought maybe as I was babysitting that it was like a preliminary trial. I didn't know we were gonna, it was gonna morph into motherhood immediately after because it was less than 90 days when she moved in my home. That was October. By January, she was in school with Miss Judy. I was back to work. I mean, so we didn't have any kind of time. I didn't have any kind of time to fully process what was happening. Um, I didn't have the nine months to prepare. The uh, nine I didn't months have to the prepare. nine months to prepare. So, <laughs> um, and here we are, almost six years later. So Here you are, and it's a beautiful sight. Will you ladies stick around for a little bit? Definitely. All yeah. right, we'll be right back. We're back with Dr. Beneda Baker and her lovely daughter, Bella. <laughs> right? <laughs> Tell us more about your nonprofit. So my non for profit again, I started it 17 years ago, and I just started mentoring girls. Like, the little girls from the church would come up to me like, I need you to be my mentor. Yeah. So I didn't write the vision and make it plain. I just kind of started one girl at a time, and over the years, it just morphed into this amazing organization. So we started out as the Princess Within Foundation. I've recently rebranded it to the Princess Within Academy, and it's all about empowering girls to love themselves unconditionally and equipping them with the tools that they need to overcome the obstacles of life. Mm -hmm. I wasn't raised by my biological mother. Mm -hmm. um, I had two amazing grandmothers who poured into me and then I had a host of women who always just sowed seeds into my life to make sure that I became who I am today. And so it was my way of paying it forward. Yes. Um, yes. And grandmothers are extremely important. Yes. And so it was, it was no secret it was no question in my mind when Bella showed up that she would become the, the face of the Princess Within Academy, that she mm. would become the protege. And this was really my life's work and my life's mission being put into yes. action on a whole nother yes. level. Yes. So, God was yeah. preparing you for it. And this is your beautiful reward for it. Bella, I can't help but to see how you look at your mother. Like, do you want to follow in her footsteps one day? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. You're amazing. I think you're headed in the right direction. What do you feel is the most special thing about your mom? Um, she's the, she was the best thing I could ever want in all my life. She was like the thing that I always wanted in my whole entire life. Isn't that warm your heart? You are such an angel, of such a blessing. Now I hear you two do everything together. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yep. You do? Only YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> and I heard that one of y'all want to go to Legoland. That's me right there. <laughs> I kind of figured that. So, Legoland California Resorts is kicking off the holidays starting November 18th, and they want to celebrate with you. 
They're giving you two-day park passes and a stay at Legoland Hotel. Have fun, Bella! Oh, my goodness, here you go. You continue to be the angel that you are and the beautiful mother that you are and the figure that you are. I enjoy y'all so much. Will you come back and see me one day? Yes. Okay, hope to see you soon. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.